Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. Today we are starting a brand new project. It is a driveway and then it has a rear sidewalk and a patio that we're going to stamp with liquid release. The plan is to go there today to remove it. Uh, I'd like to get the patio and the rear sidewalk poured today. We'll see how the progress goes. That may be a bit optimistic, but I think we could do it. And then tomorrow we'll pour the driveway. It is supposed to rain tomorrow. That might delay things until Wednesday. And then the rest of the week, I have a topsoil job we got to get done. And then I really need to start moving things over to the new land. Uh, electricity is coming really soon. So we're going to kind of start the process of transferring stuff from the existing yard into the new yard. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Morning, Missy. Good morning, Ryan, how are you? Good, how are you? All right. How's it going today? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Thank you. 620 just pulling into the yard. Bugs is out here in the street parking his truck. The rest of the guys should be showing up shortly. Need a few things this morning. We need some stamps, liquid release. Uh, that might be all we need actually. I know I need fuel in my truck and the skid loader. So I'm gonna have to stop. Man, I miss Ryan. It was so nice not having to drive this thing. But what are you gonna do? Get this thing warmed up, ready to go. What do we got in there? Just a little bit of gravel. Morning. How'd your steps come out? The best landing I've ever done. Yeah? You should have seen the load of mud. I I put ready to sham. The driver didn't stop the truck. I had all of three wheelbarrows in the back of my pickup truck. Did you really? And then by the time I got home, I'm there with a sledge and a hammer. Because <laughs> I couldn't get it off the truck. All the three wheelbarrows. Better not tell Ray. I'm going to grab two sets of stamps. Because I'm not sure what he wants. He's not getting color. We already talked about that. It's just going to be a liquid release job. Bring some of these strips again. Hi, Jade. It's Monday. Monday. And Grandma's coming. So you'll get some food. I'm going to grab these. And then I'm going to grab the uh, the Monterey Ashler. See which one he wants. That stuck pretty hard. Yeah, it sure is. Might have to just hit it with a sledgehammer. I'm not going to miss listening to car alarms every single morning. Every morning car alarms going off. Ray's here. Dino's here. Oh, Jay jumped out of the truck. Bugs and Jade are always going at it. One day she's going to get a scrabble. Tamales. Oh, tamales. Woo. Hey, Eric, secure that so it doesn't flop around. That's the liquid release. I got more here if we need it. Stamper, stomper. How's your weekend? Great. I sent you guys all the address. I don't think we need anything special. I'm gonna be, oh, can you get this out of here today? Yeah. After work? Yeah, that would be great. Uh, I gotta go get fuel in the Bobcat. So I'm gonna be a minute, but I'll be there. I'm gonna eat those tamales. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's on your mind, man. We'll eat them on the job, Ray. Take it easy. Man, it's like 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, I know. J just bring them with. How much fuel you got? We're good. Dude, you got the PTO in again? Sure sounds like it. Dude, you can't you can't drive around with the PTO in like that. You have to you have to disengage it. You're gonna burn out the pump, man. Yeah, Take, I be I careful. Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something for sure. Yeah, this machine has a small hydraulic leak. It doesn't leak when it's cold, but when it heats up, it'll have a little drip going. I can't take it in yet because I need both machines. I need this and the T320, which is done. I just have to pick it up. 
because later this week I told you that we're gonna start moving over to the new land uh, this shed is the first thing we're gonna move so we're gonna empty it all out I'm gonna get both skid steers over here and uh, you know one on each side we'll lift it up we'll get it out here into the open and then we'll back the trailer under it I'm gonna use my new trailer that's a perfect trailer for this and then we'll set the set the shed on it transfer transport both skid loaders over to the new land drive this over there take it off and put it on that new concrete so once it's over there i'm gonna have bugs make a material list so we can put an add-on we're gonna pull the back wall off or the side wall and then uh basically we're just gonna build another shed just like this attach it to here so it's twice the size and then once it's over there we're gonna paint it uh, the green is hideous so we're gonna paint it i don't know whatever color gray or something it doesn't matter really just not green anything but that color and then we're gonna have some lighting in there too there's no electricity to this right now but i ran some lines and we're gonna power this building up this will have a light on the far side a couple lights inside with a switch and maybe one outlet that's it for that all right let's go get some fuel 639 right now not bad not bad for a monday beautiful day it's like uh mid to upper 50s right now it's going up to the mid 70s there's a little bit of fall in the air already believe it or not I forgot to pay for my diesel. I was pulling out of the parking lot and the attendant came out and he was yelling at me. Yelling at me. He thought I was stealing diesel. Like, come on, dude. I'm in there all the time. But I made the mistake, so whatever. There ain't no need to yell, though. Clearly, it was an accident. All right, now we're headed to the job. I mean, I'm literally in there all the time. The guy knows me. He comes out yelling and screaming at me that I'm stealing fuel. I'm like, come on, man. Ryan the fuel thief. That would be a new one. All right, now we're headed to the job. No so, way. I mean downtown, dude. Hey, do you want to pull around the corner so I can park here? Because there's not a lot of gaps. I sent everybody the address. Tino took the bugs downtown. You guys aren't doing anything, so I'll make them take the ski loader down. Bug said Tino went downtown. I copied and pasted everybody the same exact address. So, like, this big bug. Well, they would have went to the gas station <laughs> yeah, for a long time. Station. Yeah, poopity doopity. Something. Well, the new land we're having a uh, porta potty. Nice. Yeah. Hundred percent. Cool. Eric, go get the skid loader down, and I need the breaker and the beak. I, I thought this guy's this guy would be out here by now. I'm sure he's ready. He seems like he's going to be relatively particular. So this is the driveway. We're going all the way from the city sidewalk all of this we're going to widen it out just a little bit uh actually quite a bit on this side so this will probably be about two feet wider all the way through here we're going to do this 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 pull out what stoop report Re this but, yes but leave he wants us to tear this out report it proper but not move those okay well the elevation's off Oh yeah, of course, right? It's down four, five inches. I mean, we could grab some of those block if they're Probably not glued. Put stack on there, right? Because it's going to be low. How's it going? Get over there, all right? So far. So far, what are you expecting? Bad things? Well, I don't know. You never know. <laughs> the driveway you said you want it widened. Yeah. So down here, you're going to have to kind of reshape this hill. Yeah, I'm going. I got a landscaper. Uh, we're going to do landscaping. I want to. Yeah, because it's gonna, it's kind of when we're done, it's kind of gonna look like this. Right. You know and what I mean? I, so you'll have, have to shave it and, and shave that off. Yeah. The side, so the plan is we're gonna rip this out today. Okay. I'm gonna try to set the patio in the walk and pour the patio in the walk today. So that's kind of the plan. 
right. All right, we're gonna start tearing out. Um, I got a couple different patterns, so you're gonna have to choose a pattern today. Okay. So a texture or a pattern. So if you want individual like stone looking things like this, or if you want just a texture with regular tool joints. Right away, Jade, right on the, come on. At least wait till he goes inside so he can't see. <laughs> already just like you guys yeah he pretty much just wants everything exactly the same doesn't want no curves doesn't want a nice big patio he just wants it replaced we're gonna need uh one two three sheets of plywood just for the grass here so we can get in there with the skid loader that's pretty pretty much it uh this is the neighbor's lawn so you won't want to put these here you want to put them on the customer's lawn when did you guys realize you were in the wrong spot once we got done, he goes, oh, Bugs, I'm sorry. I put in the wrong address. I said to him, I said, there's no way Ryan got us a job down here, dude. No way. No man. way. <laughs> man, it's definitely a Monday. That's funny. They were downtown Milwaukee. Like, downtown. No, no, no. Come on, Eric. There you go. Oh, oh. Got to go that way. No, no, the other way. Tip it up. Okay, now back. You're causing a traffic jam. I'm just going to move the beak out so you can grab it from the side. Man, it's taking a while to get started this morning. Come on. I just like to go, 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 go. 7.38 already. Thanks, Tino. <laughs> Bugs ready with the compactor. Yeah. I didn't even put the breaker on the machine yet. He's ready for compaction. Nice. He's gotta be ready. Yeah, he's awesome. Because you never know, any second you could compact. You know what happened his job? He said it went good, but he spilled way too much concrete. He said he would have made you proud. <laughs> Three wheelbarrows. That's what he said. <laughs> Mom bugs. Hey, dude, that's the bugs. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Bugs did make a mountain. Ryan made a made a big mountain, but you made a whole mountain range. Put the stamps back there. The plywood goes there. Uh, somebody's got a saw cut. This is connected to this, so saw cut right here in an angle area so we can get this piece off. We need to break saw or break around this so we don't break this apart. All right, we're ready to go. I'm gonna start taking the patio blocks out of the patio. We lay down the uh, traction mats. Oh, don't hit the car. We're in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, and uh, the streets are narrow. There's not a lot of places to park. There's a lot of traffic. It's not my favorite. We don't work here very often. We used to, but I don't really enjoy it. And all the traffic and tight roads and all that. Plus we're you know around rush hour right now as well. It doesn't help. I want to show you something quick. When you dig these edges, you're kind of digging like this on an angle so when we go to put the forms you know it's not cut all the way down go more go more vertical create more of a vertical edge yep. instead of like such an angle yep. when you cut the edges that's the mask you're wearing eric yeah there's no filters on it brother oh no wonder i was breathing all that stuff <laughs> <laughs> where's the filters I don't know. you had them oh man hey at least you had a mask on Did you leave me any? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, El, no, no, El Rey? El Rey tamales? No, this is... It says El Rey on it. Falling apart, man. It's not as good as the ones I brought. Yeah, yours were good. 
I just explained to Eric what I'm gonna do now is take that square concrete out, put that in the truck, put the bucket on them. I'll dig all this dirt out, pile it over there. That way they can set forms here while I'm taking out the rest of the concrete, try to keep them working as much as possible. I got concrete at noon for this. I need a rag. This is covered with grease. I can't even, you got a rag somewhere? These cars, watch out, the porch is gonna smash you. Dude, these cars are just. There's oh, no, so man. much traffic here. No way. No way. Oh, that's an old shirt. Oh, oh shirt. I got you the new one. I thought that was a victory shirt. I was like, no way. No. Literally, every time I come out to the road, there's tons of cars. I'm hoping it clears up in a little while once. Yeah, it's 8 10 right now. People are still heading to work, so. Let's see if Ray can hook it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop this one square and that little apron out right now. And I'll put all that dirt right in the hole. All you gotta do is push it on, Ray. You just gotta push it hard. You gotta put your belly into it. There you go. You gotta pop, give it a little pop with the belly. Pop! Right, Eric? Yeah. That's why you got better this year, because you got the belly now. Same thing. Just push it on. Pop it. Oh, there you go. There, there you go. That was a serious challenge for you. Level one accomplished. All right, let's see what we're dealing with today. It's thick. It's a solid five, five and a half inches right there. Not seeing any reinforcement yet though. So that would be, that would be a bonus. That's six inches thick, just about right there. breaking out just a little bit more than I originally had planned. I'm gonna load this up on Ray. That'll pretty much fill his truck and we'll get him out of here. And uh, then we'll dig this out and then I'll continue on. Is your shovel broke? I think he's just holding it. Okay, I'll hold just check it. Yeah, it's out of gas. Yeah, uh, yeah I, obviously. <laughs> This, this isn't an angle? Or no, that's bad. Yeah, that's a radius, and this besides an angle, like okay, a 45. Okay, there was no short ones on there? He didn't want anything changed. Just throw the rest in there. I'm gonna start putting this concrete back in again in the dump truck. No, I told his shovel's broken. It's all good. I'm gonna put this in, go dump this, and bring five ton of gravel. I don't want a lot of gravel, only five ton, because I just want enough to grade that. Know what I'm saying? Yep. Because I don't have a lot of room in the street. It's so crowded out there, man. All right, the rain is loaded up. It's pulling out. I'm gonna pull my truck up now. Put the breaker back on. Start smashing up some more of the driveway. Going good so far. It's only, uh, well, 9.30. No way. Tino, you better start practicing signing your autograph. I do. I got to. You know how already? Let's see. Give me. Because people are going to be asking for it. Fingerprint, thank you. 
What is that? Wow. Fortino. Hey, what is r right around the Point. corner? <laughs> rat <Rats>. Ratsy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hashtag right away in the corner. Ratsy. Ooh. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> He's been practicing all year. That's the Monterey Ashler. And then this one's just the texture. So with this one, we'll actually tool the joints in like we like a normal concrete slab. Uh -huh. So it'll look like, you know, pieces of stone. And then uh, with that one, we saw cut them in the next day. So they have saw cuts. That's how they go on. It's just a small patio, just like yours. Uh -huh. You'll be able to see the pattern here in a second once I make some progress. And that one we put it on a 45 degree angle, which we could do here too if you mm -hmm. like it. You like that one? Good pattern, yeah. Okay, yeah. we can do that. Do you want it on a 45? Sure. Or do you want a square and parallel with the house? I like the 45. I think yeah, it adds some interest to the eye. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Cool. Yeah, it'll pretty much just it'll pretty much just line up with this. Yep. We'll just start right here. We'll line it up with that. And that'll be your angle of stone. That'll look really nice. Um, what do you want to do back here? Because your height of your concrete. So concrete's going to be way up here. Yeah. So I don't know what you want to do about that. I mean, if you want, I can steal blocks off that wall until you get replacements or... Uh, we can just leave it like this. I got... Well, I can't leave it like that. I got to have something that holds a... Contains a concrete. Oh, okay. I got to have a form or block or something to pour against. I can't just leave you it like that. Two by four here and pour it, but then the two by four will be removed. Cool. I mean, you're gonna have you're gonna have an exposed concrete edge right here, is what I'm saying. Right. Which I, I just want to let you know, it's not gonna be like flush with the top of this. No. I mean, I it's can... gonna be way up higher. Or you can make an L or whatever you yeah, want to do. I can Same thing back wild. there. Too. I can let it run wild and just stake it here and then just put a kicker in the middle. That'll be fine. And that'll be we'll fun. need a little one there too because yeah, that's gonna be above. Pitching it that much is too much. Huh? Oh, we can't pitch that much. No, that would be like. That would look like this. You would kill yourself on that. Yeah, that would be terrible. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely ha it definitely has to rise up above the block. Right. I got concrete at 12 for the patio. We just got to get gravel in there and compact it, put steel wire mesh reinforcement, rebar. So it's at noon, so if you want to get your boots on at about noon, that'd be good. First time for everything. The breaker hooked up, ready to go. I'm going to start smashing the rest of this driveway out. The patio's pretty much ready. We just got to put some gravel in there. We'll just probably wheelbarrow it in. Or maybe I'll just drive up there a couple times. Look what you're doing in this garage, man. You got to use your head. You got to use common sense. You don't want to fill somebody's garage with sawdust. Use water or close a garage door, one or the other. You guys got to think before you do stuff like that. This truck is full. Ray just got back. He's got a little bit of gravel. We're going to grade that patio on sidewalk. Get that compact and ready for concrete in a little bit here. Hey, close the tailgate. I don't want to dump. Close the tailgate. Looks like the trees are trimmed up high enough, so that's nice. Two of you guys run to the trailer, grab one more sheet like this, then I can just drive up and dump it right in. Oh, I don't think so. I think just. Well, yeah, I just one. Really so this is square now? Yes, it's square and it's pitching this way a hair towards you. Dug that edge out real, real quick. I'm gonna set a string for these guys. So they can set this form. So it looks like the pitch is gonna work out fine here. This has got just a tiny bit coming this way, but from there to there, it's gonna be tipping this way. So we'll gain about an inch and a half from the garage floor to here. So it'll probably have about an eighth bubble as we're coming down this way. And I want to maintain that all the way down. Yeah, these have just a little, little bit. It'll be just enough. It'll be fine. Eric, I would say get a board cut for this. Put this one in. Leave this one out for the buggy. Yeah. We can come right up there. Yeah, I would cut this though. I'm going to, I still got the bucket. I'm going to dump a gravel pile right here. And then just shovel it in here and grade this a little bit. It's uh, 1044 right now. Concrete's in an hour and 15. Flip the bucket back and this piece here, just 
just about smashed my windshield. That was really close. Really close. That would have been exciting. Concrete's all out just a little after 11. Pretty much ready to pour. I just got to order concrete. My mom should be here in just a little bit, 15 minutes or so. Jay, Jay's ready. Big yardage here. Why is this? Why is this three feet and that's three foot six? That's my question. I don't know. I told him to measure three feet off here and put a stake. That's what I told him. This put is this end. is three foot here and this is three foot six I here. I told him to put a stake at three feet on both ends. The whole sidewalk got to move over, take the mesh, and Lovely. yeah. Glad I measured for concrete. That would have been fun. Yeah, no. When the concrete's already in. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. I got a 12. Yes, sir. I just need four yards. What are we using today? Uh, seven bag, low chert, air, microfiber, five inch slump, quarter percent NCA. Concrete's ordered. Grandma's here. That's good, Mom. Hey, Eric and Franny, help my mom with the food. Grandma's here, Jay. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Usually, right? Usually, right? It's a lot of concrete, man. Yeah. I'm really nervous right now. Right, Tino? Yeah. <sighs> can't even breathe. I can't even breathe. <sighs> the other end is high. Hyperventilating. Grandma's here. Hi. Hi, Ryan. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? You gotta jump that, okay? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Man, lunch, two, two work days in a row. We're getting spoiled. That's true. We had a Friday, too. See you tomorrow at noon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. Not yeah, not tomorrow. Oh, you pandered oh, to the Mexicans I'm again? I'm only kidding. I love your lunch. You I never I, you never brought a bad lunch. What did you make? I made um Mexican oh. enchilada. Mexican enchiladas. Enchilada. Always for the Mexicans. Always the Mexicans. Enchiladas. No, enchilada casserole. Casserole. Look at grandma broad dressing today. She was no, trying I didn't to. Want to get fired. <laughs> I know. Last time it was. Hey, I read that uh, being super obese is really healthy too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I'm just trying to get healthy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> and what if that was true? That'd be like the fatter you were, the more healthy you were. Uh, that would be so nice, right, Eric? Like huh? That's what I do. That's what I do. Every year, like yeah, twice yeah. a year. Gain, lose, gain, lose. And then by the time we go to like Las Vegas, fat as a cow. And then in Las Vegas, all we do is eat. Oh. Right, Francisco? Oh, yeah. First thing we did when we got there. First thing we did when we pulled into Las Vegas, we went to El Gordo's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Gordo's. What's it called? El Taco Gordo? Concrete's gonna pull up, so I'm gonna, gra I'm gonna grade this out real quick so we can get the buggy in and out. Right. If you guys want to help my mom is put this, this stuff away. Is your coffee gone? Bye. No, Hi, but I'm done with it. Thank you. Okay. You can take it back. Otherwise, I'll lose it like I always do. I'm just going to flatten this out so Ray doesn't get stuck. I got a couple stamp options for you. Oh, okay. He made the decision already. He did, but he said he might get in trouble. So we can do a... Uh, just a plain texture or a pattern like this. He chose the pattern. I did too. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. We're good. Yeah, she was just like that one, and that was it. Just like that. He wanted to see all the pictures and uh, have a big conversation. She likes the same one as you did. Concrete here. <laughs> yes, that was that wasn't that wasn't bad. That was pretty good. All right, I'm gonna pull this ahead a little bit so. Big ray of sunshine can make that turn. I'm gonna check the slump of the concrete and get pouring. Once the concrete's on the ground, I'm gonna get all this dirt out of here, load it up, rail go dump, and then tomorrow morning we'll set the forms and grade real quick. We might even set the forms or most of them today, we'll see. And then it's supposed to rain in the afternoon. So I was thinking tomorrow, if it does hold, the forecast that is, 
we can move the shed, which will be a kind of a fun project. Lifting up the big shed onto the trailer, getting that over to the new land. Okay, let's see what we got. Ho! Ho! Why is the concrete so perfect already? Is it so perfect? Yeah, why is it so perfect already? I was just gonna say, I told him, I said, I made it a here where they're leaving. But you know, when you got four yards or less, yeah. it's hard to meet it on when you work that way. Yeah, the meter's not accurate. So I uh, estimated it. Yeah. Now, so I'm checking out since you Yeah, it's it's not bad. Just give it like a, give it like a gallon or two. Sure. Yeah, that was pretty good, man. Not bad at all. Don't try to ride on it. Just walk behind it. Because that thing's gonna be like this when you hit bumps. Hey, we only got one stamp out. That's gonna be that's gonna be oh, hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, if you grabbed a handle and then went like this. <laughs> If you could get it perfect, that would be tricky. Yeah, you was all in the time. <laughs> <laughs> what if it landed right in the joint perfect, though? That would be nice. Really nice. You ready, Jade? Here. 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 She's slow. She's a slow learner. She fits poly? right in here. Hey, watch your foot of poly. <laughs> <laughs> Eric didn't even get it because he's a little slow. Yeah, I'm a little slow. <laughs> she belongs here. I, I said she's a slow learner. She fits in well here. <laughs> <laughs> You never seen it? No. Wow. You never seen the secret to making easy money. So he ain't gonna help at all? And you'll still expect to check on Friday, right? Good thing we got this here. Yeah, that's perfect, Ray. Thank you. Put these on top of the buggy, take them to the trailer. There's one more back there. Concrete's all down. Just gotta get this stuff moved so I can get back to digging. This won't take us no time tomorrow to set these forms and grade it. Once it's excavated, that's the time-consuming part. Right, Ray? I just pulled up the tandem. I'm gonna get as much dirt as I can on here. See how much dirt I can fit on the tandem. You're making a lot of mud. Yeah, I'm almost done. Just this right here. Okay. I don't think that went to the corner of the garage there. Okay, well, I think it angled in and then came. I'm pretty sure. N try to cut it close to where the. No, 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 stop. Cut it, cut it just like an inch and a half from the pink string. Real close to the pink string. Other side of the pink string. Just put your thumb so you can kind of mark it and then right there. Where all this mud come from? In the water. Francesco, give me some slack on this string. I had to drop that down back there. Let me see what it says. It's got about a half an inch and six feet. I mean, the water will roll on that. 
but it ain't gonna be flying. And not much pitch. I thought I was gonna have more than that. We'll just get all the forms set and then we'll grade tomorrow. These can all get set. That can get set. Oh, this one? Why? Why not? No, when we strip it, we'll set it. It's already cut the length. Take a second to throw it in. It's already cut the oh, length. It'll take you a second. It'll take Eric 25 yeah, minutes. And we'll have to reset it. Yeah, I... wrong. I mean, so <laughs> oh, Eric. <laughs> right in the heart. You guys are setting forms. I'm going to pop these joints in. Unfortunately, this concrete is really wet. And it's going to be quite a while before we can get on this with the stamps, finish it and all that. I mean, quite a while. I bet it's going to be an hour. So I'll get these joints in. We'll finish setting the forms. And hopefully it'll be ready. Cut! What are you doing, man? You're supposed to catch I'm it. To catch it. Yes. $6,000 joiner. Why you play around? Why don't you catch it? I thought you were strong. Ray, I think he's pretty strong. He looks strong. Like his body type, usually those guys are pretty strong. Right? I'm pretty sure you can bench like 425. Barely 25. 225? No, I don't know. 225, 60 times. I can lift like 3,500 with the skid loader. And that's all that really matters, right, Eric? Here's your. Whoa! I, I think he just loosened that string too. He just ripped the string down too. Alright, I'm gonna dig that end out real quick. Get these guys moving. We'll come back in the morning and grade. And then the rain's supposed to start, but if it's just kind of iffy, we'll move that shed. Alright, hopefully I can cram this in there. Oh, come on, you guys. Look at how somebody leaves the 2x4 sticking out right in somebody's approach come on man whoever left that two by four sticking out the back of the truck right in the middle of the approach that wasn't good again tino i don't want somebody to back out of their driveway and hit it I'll finish up these strings on the bottom you guys can finish setting these couple forms here I might end up doing another break somewhere in the middle here. Try to keep it up a little higher. I told him this morning he's gonna have a, some landscaping to do. Let me just see what this looks like here. Yeah, I'm gonna give it give it one more break. This hammer's got some power. This one's oh. <laughs> yeah, that one has power. They're putting the last couple forms on there. I gotta come back in here. Got a high spot like right there. A couple more inches down. We can fit a couple inches of gravel. Concrete is, I'll let you know in a second. It looks wet. It's wet. It's way wet. Still gonna be 30 minutes. Did Ray wash this? <sighs> Come on, man. I threw this over to Ray, as you saw. He never even washed it. Ray, I threw this over to you. You never even washed it? No. Man. Are you gonna help at all tomorrow? Nothing? I asked her if she was going to help move the shed tomorrow. She was like, eh, eh. I don't even know what that means, really. Almost ready for stamps? No, Eric? Waity, waity? Ooh. I don't know, get some batteries for my GoPro. And then uh, wait for the concrete to set. I'm going to have these guys sweep up the street. We're pretty much cleaned off. We just got some tools laying around and stuff we got to pick up. But just got to stamp the concrete, and that's it. Is everything tied down? For the most part. That is definitely not an acceptable yeah, answer. Just one more needs to be tied down. I thought you were going to bring the other breakers. Wait, we have breaker in there. Everything's on the trailer. Yeah. Put the ramps up, make sure everything's tied down 100%. We're compacting it. No, we still need to compact tomorrow. I would say five minutes. They're always going at it. Too. Gonna listen to dog. <laughs> <laughs> she's going she's taunting you now. Really easy to do. Eric, how are you? I didn't even know Eric was back, or he's hiding behind the garbage can. Are you there? 
Yeah, he is. SpongeBob, Eric. You're watching SpongeBob. <laughs> Eric's watching SpongeBob SquarePants. Look at the ant spiders messing up the finish. It's so ridiculous. Try to make something nice, and then the spiders jump on it. All right, it's ready. I'm jumping on. Do a little time lapse and knock this out quick. Guys, strip the forms there. Driveway's all set. Just needs to be graded. A couple more forms are set there, which are taken care of. All right, well that moved. Ay, 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 that looks terrible. Give me the texture skin and spray a little stuff on there. Actually, give me your mag. It's a bad start. Let that one down now. Hurry, Eric, I'm losing it. It's super hard. Three, four mats, that's it. <laughs> you got two mats on there, it's hard. Just as I go around the step, when I start pulling these off, you gotta work the edges like we always do. <laughs> this whole patio is like four mats. Yeah, and, then, and then like I, this. Right, and then I'll put a square there. Yeah, I'll just right. keep this one. And, come, yes, and through here, yep. like. Yeah, I messed up a little bit there. But it's all fixed. Looks really good. Eric's coming back to skin that right there. All right, that looks great. Nice little patio for him. It's a lot better than what he had this morning. Nice. We got the thumbs up. That's all that matters. Oh, nice. Of course it turned out nice. Yeah. What did you expect? I told you I can do anything you want. Yeah. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to cut two lines. One here and then one there. All right, Jay. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. See you in the morning. We'll be here around 7. Could be a little after. No, nah, we're good. We'll be back early in the morning. We'll get this all graded, compacted. We're not going to pour tomorrow because there's rain coming. But Wednesday looks fantastic, so I got concrete ordered for Wednesday, and then we'll be all set. Tino, are you coming in tomorrow? Yes. Okay. See you in the morning. Yes. Adios. Where's Francisco? Oh, he didn't even say nothing to me. Just all right. Yeah, I know. It just takes off. Bye, Francisco. Adios. Okay. Is it all tied down? All right, I'll see you in the morning. Yes. Adios. Adios. All right, we're done. We'll be back early in the morning. We'll get that graded out. And then uh, Wednesday, we're gonna pour. Tomorrow afternoon should be fun, moving the shed. That could get sketchy, but we'll figure it out. Pretty good at stuff like that. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Hi, guys. Hi, I'm playing with sand. Sand? Wow. That looks really cool. Hi right, Daniel. Yeah. You got your tow truck? How was your day? Good. All right. Look at it. Ta-da! Mm. Made a pingo. Wow. Mm.